Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 11th Hour Gaming Channel. I am AJ Gels. Uh, I'm back playing Far Cry Primal again. You know, it's uh, uh, really, really cool to be back with you guys. Uh, you know, I've, I, I took a short, uh, short uh, hiatus, I guess, from the channel. Uh, you know, it's nothing against you guys. You know, I just got, uh, you know, I got, I got busy with school. You know, it's, uh, it's how it is with my family. You know, I have to, uh, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> sorry. It's cold outside. I was <clears throat> <clears throat> the cold is still in my lungs. Um, what the hell was I saying? Um, you know, it's uh, kind of how it is with my family. You know, it's uh, they have no problem with me doing this. You know, it's but you know, school's first. Blah 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 blah. Um, so you know, and I I, I basically have just been pulling all nighters for the past uh, three days. Uh, just fin do just doing some work, just some work that I've kind of had piling up for a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm back, you know, I'm planning on doing a little bit of everything today, you know, doing a couple of this, a little XCOM, uh, some Metal Gear Solid, some Fallout, um, I, I, so glad I'm soon going to finish, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, you know, that Let's Play series, because the, uh, final bit of DLC is finally out, so, you know, I'm all, uh, all ready for that. Uh, if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing right now, uh, apparently, like, I'm in a cave, uh, apparently it's supposed to be, it's like a natural maze or something like that so basically you're supposed to explore these places with your torches you know you find uh, cave paintings and other stuff uh, inside the caves that's kind of what we're doing um, but yeah it's uh, like, like I said though guys you know it's, it's really cool I'm, I'm gonna say to be back even though I'm technically not I don't know. Technically, I never left. I just, you know what I mean. It's all. Ugh. I'm I'm still a little tired. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in, to uh, any you get any of you uh, any you young guys who uh, not in college, it's both probably the greatest and shittiest things you will ever do in your life. It's, uh, really fun, but at the same time, oh, it sucks. Um. You know. I think I'm lost. I'm basically just kind of, like, running around this place until I figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Can I come over this way? Yeah, then I drop down. Okay. That's kind of weird. Um, you know, guys, I, I, I think I made kind of a, a sort of executive decision. You know, I, I'm not going to do those... Um, I don't know if you remember a couple videos ago. It was a, uh, you know, it was like hunting, an it was like an animal hunt, or there that one where I was like inside that cave. You know, see, like that that marker right up there, you know, with the hand and the question mark. Uh, I just heard an animal, and mine is not in here. Um, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna show you guys those just because they they were there's not really a lot of variety in those missions. They're all kind of the same thing. Um, just yeah. So I, you know, I mean, maybe if one's interesting, I'll show it. Or if you guys want to see it, uh, get a hold of me in the comments below, or uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, or my website. Uh, all that down in the description. Get a hold of me. Those resources. Really fucking dark in here. I'm assuming we're going this way. Uh, I'm supposed to climb. Uh, you know, guys, uh, for a bit here, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk some, uh, I'm gonna talk some politics. You know, it's not, not my favorite thing to talk about. You know, I mean, like, I, I absolutely hate politics. You know, I don't follow them. 
uh, a lot of that. You know, honestly, like, I, I mean, uh, to anybody who's not, I guess, um, American, you know, uh, this... Huh. Yeah, but you know, to anybody who's not, I guess, an American, uh, you know, don't or doesn't know how our electoral system and all that bullshit works. Um, you know, I mean, if this confuses you, I'm sorry. I, I'm I, I, I'm kind of just like talking to kind of vent some frustration. Maybe not frustration. Um, I don't know. I I kind of like talking, just put my opinions out there, you know, I mean, you like it, you like it, if you don't, and you disagree with me, you, you, you know, you disagree with me. I'm totally lost. I just went out. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, although, again, uh, you know, while I'm talking about this, uh, if you do at any time disagree with me, uh, feel free, uh, go down those comments below, you know, give me your opinion on, uh, you know, maybe who you're liking in this election, or maybe who you're planning on voting for, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, by the way, you know, it's, um, it, you know, when I when I say I don't vote, I you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, they're like, whoa, it's your duty as an American, and it's you this and that. I'm like, okay, that's, and you know, I, I, my, my favorite is people who come up to me and, you know, you know they look at me and goes like, well, people fought and died for your right to vote. And I say, I, I, that just kind of makes me, uh, chuckle a little bit because I sit here and go, uh, I mean, yeah, people technically fought and died to protect, to, you know, give me the right to vote, but those people fought and died back in the Revolutionary War, back, you know, back when we, you know, started this country. I'm st trying to figure out how to get the hell out of this cave. Um, you know, I mean, <laughs> I, cause I'm sorry, you know, I mean, this, this sounds, I guess, racist while I say it, and that's, I, that's not how I mean it, but I am a white male, I mean, pretty much once the country was established, I had the right to vote, like, that was, you know, I'm not saying right or wrong or whatever, I'm just saying, historically, that, that's, that's what it was, um, Ah! Um. All right, guys. You know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll keep talking about this. You know, once. Hey, it's my tiger or lion thing. Uh, yeah, I'll talk. I'll, I'll I'll keep talking about this once we get out. There's gonna be a cut. Cause to trying to watch me do this is not interesting. So uh, I'll see you when I get the hell out of here. What's up, guys? I'm back. Uh. I found out that, uh, you know, you could just fast travel out of those places. Um, you know, I, like I was saying, uh, like, I, you know, I, I, I feel slightly racist when I say it, but, you know, I'm, but I mean, like, that just, that's, that's how, you know, historically, that's um, kind of what it was, you know, I mean, you're a white male, you were lucky enough that that was your born right to uh, vote in this country, you know, that's what the Founding Fathers uh, decided on. Yeah, crazy bastards. Um, but you know, it, it, so you know, I mean, it just, it makes me chuckle whenever people tell me, you know, people fought and died for your right to vote, and I'm like, yeah, just not any time recently. Um, but you know, it, it's always, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, it's your duty as an American, it's your this and that, I'm like, what? I don't vote because, you know, frankly, in, in my opinion, uh, and, you know, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a very principled person. I don't know if, you know, you could really tell by listening to me talk. Um, you know, but, but I, you know, I, 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 hate hip, I hate hypocrisy, and I do my best to avoid um, hypocrisy to uh, the best of my, really the best of my ability. Um, and, you know, it, like, 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 that's my thing. Like, I, that's that's kind of why I don't vote. It's, uh, just let me skin the... There we go. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, like, but that's that's why I don't vote, you know? It's, I, 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 to me, it's because I don't know anything about politics. Because I, I mean, well, I, I'm not going to say I don't know anything, but, you know, I, I don't really follow it. I don't know all the platforms and the, you know, all the details and whatnot. 
you know, and, and personally, I hate those people who just kind of go in and, you know, they just vote lockstep with their party. Um, you know, not or, or people who just vote on for some people for just random bullshit reasons that don't have anything to do with the actual issues, um, or who's going to be do the best for this country. Um, so you know, it, it, it's I, I have a problem with that. Uh, so you know, that's why I'm like, unless I truly know a candidate or anything like that, I'm not going to vote. And I just, I frankly, with doing this in school, I don't have a whole lot of time to like heavily follow politics so you know so i don't vote you know i mean granted i mean i haven't been eligible to vote uh for too long i've i've uh you know i i, I turned 18 uh the year of the last of um the 2012 election so you know i you know I, you know i didn't vote there i did vote that year though i did vote uh in the state in a state election uh i voted for the state superintendent uh of indiana of indiana i have uh my parents uh are in and actually just uh, multiple family members uh, who teach here in Indiana, um, and, you know, I, I, you know, if you don't know, you ask me, education's really fucked up everywhere, it just the, just the plain system that we use in America, I just don't think it's right, um, but really, Indiana's isn't, is pretty bad, uh, but either way, you know, we, we voted in this person who's an actual teacher, you know, knows schools, uh, Democrat, and, you know, if you didn't know, Indiana's a heavily red state, we vote, vote in this woman, and we're all thinking, okay, she's going to do some good stuff. Uh, our governor, I believe, still at the time was Mike Pence, uh, basically comes in <laughs> and sets up a special committee, uh, like a special committee that basically reroutes her. Or so basically, she has to report to this committee for anything that she wants to do, basically because she's a Democrat and our, you know, our governor is Republican, and it's anti the party, it's, it's really messed up, and it's, it, it, that, that's also the other thing that I, also why I don't vote, because I think our political system is so screwed up right now, just because I'm like, it, you know, the, the point of politics in government is to help us, the citizens, uh, not for them to have, like, I mean, I think the fact that saying, um, political career is, um, you know, I mean, like, I think that in, it, uh, in and of itself, it breaks uh, the idea of what this country was supposed to, you know, be. Hut. Um, what do I want to do now? Uh, okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm gonna talk to talk to our warrior buddy, and we'll do a cutscene. I'll like I said, I'll probably be talking about this kind of this stuff all through the video. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. Charshna Waicha Su Shayu Chwanta Tatcha Ha Winja Baudash. Winja Santayam. Hanawa Chwanta Daha. Mana Apa Gwan. Kalim Hai Usasaku. Alright, dude. Let's see here, I think there I think I have some stuff I can craft. Ooh, an upgrade to the spear. Yeah, why the hell not? I'll do that, and I can craft whatever the hell that is. And skills, hmm. I think death from above is a pretty good skill to have. Ooh, mammoth rider. All right. Oh, that's cool. This is gonna be fun. Um, yeah, I can talk to them, or I could go. I'm sorry, I'm kind of deciding, like, what the hell I want to do. Mmm, that stuff's far away. So, let's, let's see if there's anything closer. Snyder! <laughs> 
To now Avenger Twenty Dungeon. All right, let's go see what Tensai wants. I can get over there. Um, but you know, I mean, like, that, that's my thing with uh, the American, you know, the political system uh, here in America. I, I really don't like it. And uh, if you're wondering why the hell I'm deciding to talk about this, um, it, it goes to, um, you know, it, it, I don't know. I, I talked about it in a couple of, a couple videos somewhere. Probably a lot of them. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of uh, John Stewart. You know, I, I think he's absolutely hilarious. Uh, you know, I, I I love I love The Daily Show. Uh, and also uh, to anybody you know who maybe stopped watching that show when uh, John Stewart left. Uh, Trevor Noah doing a fantastic job. And not he's not saying he's not as funny as John isn't right. Uh, he's a different. He, he's he's kind of taken it and kind of done his own thing with it. You know, I think he's done a fantastic job uh, taking over that show uh, from John. Those big shoes to fill, and he uh, did that. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of riffing until I like have a big open span of time. Takar, <laughs> Unisaja. Surke, Iraqis Guan. Why so, Udagua? Sushilhai. Easy. Ninja one tar wai cars. Hi. Hi, Dram. Se Alia. Inacha. Sushilhai, Ninja Twan Shams. Karwiwa Bauga. Marty Bishwa. Holy shit. The shy you slowed the guash. My alia praste ati. Sushilhain salga takar. Inasta winja lausha. All right, that's poor bastard. Well, his is the closest. So uh, his wins. Um, but you know, like I like I was saying, that you know, like I'm I'm a big fan of John Stewart. Um, and you know, The Daily Show. Um, but you know, like, uh, you know, like sometimes when I'm bored, you know, I got nothing else to watch, you know, I'll just play old clips of The Daily Show, you know, I'll play them in the background while I'm, uh, doing other stuff. You know, I just like listening, uh, to him, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, it's really kind of funny for me that, um, uh, cause you know, I mean, he's a very far left leaning um, person, you know, he's very heavy in, uh, on the Democrat side, um, and me, while I'm slightly right of center, so, you know, I'm, 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 pro probably I agree with the Republicans more, but not all the time, and, like I said, you know, I hate, I don't like the lockstep with, uh, voting, um, if any, actually, if any of the candidates that I like, uh, this upcoming election, uh, I, I gotta, personally, I'd, I'd vote for Bernie Sanders, you know, I, I li I'm liking him. My, my problems with him go into the whole, he keeps promising, you know, it's like, you know, edu you know, it's like free education and it's free this. And it's like, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're promising some really cool stuff. My, my question is, where the hell is this money coming from that's going to pay for all this free stuff that you want to give us? Um, but I don't know. I mean, I, I think out of any of them, I think he's the... I, I don't want to say lesser of two evil, uh, lesser of the evils, but I honestly I think he's the best choice out of the groups because I mean I'm sorry Trump's batshit crazy. Um, originally I thought you know I'm like cause I'm like Trump's an intelligent guy. Uh, you know I, I think anybody who thinks he's just stupid I I, I think you're wrong. I mean I think uh, Donald Trump is actually quite intelligent. Um, you know I mean you're a fantastic businessman because I mean he's taken. 
You know, I mean, everybody, you know, so, but I'm like, yeah, he took that million dollars, but then turned it into a billion dollar company, and the name Trump was never known before Donald Trump. So, you know, it's, I don't know. So, you know, I, I, I was thinking, you know, he's like, so he's like spouting off like racist and sexist comments and whatnot. But I'm like, okay, but the way I look at it, he's doing it and people are talking about him. You know, he's getting into the public eye and, you know, it's like he'll say a bunch of really crazy shit, but then something that makes sense. So, you know, we're talking about him and we're focusing on him and it's great publicity. Now, uh, as we're getting... Uh, Actually, I don't know exactly where we are in the primaries, but, um, you know, I, that's kind of where I'm sitting here going, all right, I'm pretty sure now he's batshit crazy. Um, you know, then you got, uh, holy shit, who's, uh, then you got Ted Cruz, if you ask me, is not much better than Trump. Um, and then you got <laughs> Ben Carson. Just put me in a coma. Um... <laughs> God. But yeah, but you know, I mean, I, I love listening to Hillary Clinton say, you know, your people are like, well, how would you be different than a, how, how would you avoid being a third term Obama? And, you know, she's like, well, isn't it pretty obvious? I mean, you just like, I think the first woman president, that would be something, that's different. And I'm sitting there going, yeah, that's, yeah, it's different. But I, yeah, I think Trevor Noah put it best. I was like, so what, you're, you're, you're going to be a better president than Obama because your parts are different? You know, I mean, I, I hate I hate that uh, that theory that it's, you know, it's... And honestly, it was kind of why I didn't like Obama when he got elected. Uh, nothing against him. Uh, first off, I didn't trust the fact that he... He, he was so clean. And, and I mean that as, like, a politician. I mean, I'm like... To me... I don't know. I don't see how a politician can be clean nowadays. Uh, and I think, actually, Obama is fairly out of any of them. He's very clean. But, you know, I'm like, then I'm thinking he's hiding something big. But, you know, again, that's a theory of mine that never, uh, I guess you could say, panned out. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, you know, but, you know, I mean, it's just like everybody's, you know, he's like, well, he did so. I'm like, really? And, nothing, and I understand, you know, it's not all Obama's fault. You know, I mean, yes, Congress had a big uh, part in it, you know, the heavily uh, Republican Congress and our Democratic president. So basically, they just cancel each other out and nothing gets done. Uh, you know, absolutely fantastic job, America. Um, so, you know, I, I, I don't blame all of Obama, but I, I do think Obamacare, while yes, is a good idea, I don't think in practice that was the good, that was a solution. Um I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off topic a little bit, but, you know, I mean, but frankly, I, I, I find Bernie Sanders, uh, he's the, out of all the candidates, he's the one I can stomach the most. Um, I heard a snake. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of my opinions on the people running. Um, but, you know, back to why I was talking about Jon Stewart, I'm sorry, I, I, I promise some of this, this will loop. Uh, this will loop around to being kind of make some sense. Uh, you, d you just kind of have to give me that <laughs> little bit of leeway. Um, but you know, it, it, it's uh, but while watching, um, you know, like John Stewart on YouTube and whatnot, um, you know, it, you, watching him on YouTube, uh, I, I think just I got a video uh, that you know it's kind of like the oh, well, hey watch this next and kind of recommended videos. Um, for and it had a guy talking on this. Uh, you know, I don't know if anybody uh, knows him. A former pro wrestler, also a former governor of Minnesota. Uh, man named uh, Holy crap! Why why can't um why can't I remember his last name? Um, oh my god! Give me a second. I got to do a Google search because now I'm losing my mind. This this is what happens when I like watch stuff late at night and I forget. Jesse Ventura, there we go. Um, jeez, I, I for for some reason I keep mixing him with um Bobby the Brain uh Bobby the Brain Heenan. Now they're pro wrestler if you didn't know. Uh, I'm, I'm like these guys are, like they're old pro wrestlers. Uh, but, you know, I mean, uh, Jesse Ventura, you know, originally was part of uh, what was the naval underwater demolitions. Uh, I, at least I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Uh, basically, it was the group that, that, that eventually became the Navy SEALs. You know, uh, he was that, you know, he served um, 
Vietnam or Korea? I always forget which one came first. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I... For me, I, 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 I like wartime history, but to me, wartime history kind of ends after, um, I don't know, it becomes less interesting after uh, uh, World War II. Um, oh, God, that's gross. Um... No, 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 not what I wanted. There we go. Got him. Yeah, teamwork. Um, but you know, I, I'm 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 listening to this guy, this uh, this Jesse Ventura. You know, I'm I'm, I'm listening to him talk. Um, and, and, you know, like I was like I like I said, you know, uh, former governor, uh, former. I'm, I'm gonna just say Navy SEAL. Uh, you know, apparently I, I saw somewhere it said you know he was a. Uh, part of a motorcycle gang. He also, you know, he was a gov uh, not only governor of Minnesota. He also was a uh, mayor of a Minnesota city. Uh, I'm not sure which one though. Um, you know, so you know, I mean, he, he's had a very interesting life. He's written a couple books. Uh, so I, I've heard are very interesting, uh, both on politics and uh, conspiracy theories. He's he's, he, he's a big conspiracy theorist. If you listen to him talk, um, he's very distrustful of the government. Um, but, but, uh, uh, really on to why I like him, and, uh, totally honest, if he came out and said that he's running for president, he is probably the person that would get me to actually, A, pay attention to politics, and B, actually vote, because, I, I, Everything that I don't like, because he kind of stands against pretty much the stuff that I don't like about our American electoral system. You know, I, I mean, he, he, as he puts it, you know, if he ran, if he runs, he's going to run independent, meaning uh, he's not a, because there's something different. Uh, it, there, it's it's different if you're third party from being independent, because as independent, he's not part of any political party. Uh, sometimes independents get thrown in together with uh, third party people uh but you know he's not gonna run any, with any political party and as he's put it he requires two things for him to actually kind of come out and say yes i'm gonna run he requires uh as he puts it a grassroots movement that will allow him to uh ballot access in all 50 states you know it's a it's a it's a again a really messed up part of the american the uh electoral system because you know it the fact that it's run by Republicans and Democrats, they kind of use that kind of monopoly on the system uh, to put down the third parties and the independents. You know, it's, uh, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, you know, he, he requires us to get involved and to basically uh, get him ballot access in all 50 states, as well as a, um, he needs uh, the ability to, as he put, to debate. You know, as he puts it, if he can debate, not only will he run, he will win. And, uh... In, in, in really hearing him, I, I, I actually, I, I could really see him winning uh, if he were uh, allowed to debate. I mean, he's a very interesting guy. I mean, he's very, he's very entertaining to listen to. I mean, obviously, you know, former uh, pro wrestler, he's very charismatic. Um, you know, I mean, you look at him and you hear him talk, I mean, you're like, yeah, it's a pro wrestler. Uh, um... But, you know, he's very fascinating, you know, he kind of puts it, I think, the best way by saying, you know, when he always says he's running against them, he literally, you know, he's Republicans and Democrats, he's like, that's eh, really the same thing. They're slightly different, but they're really the same thing. Uh, but, you know, like, he has, uh, yeah, he has really good ideas, you know, I mean, just, and like I said, you know, just how... Even to change the voting system, that you know, uh, things that I really like, you know, he, you know, as he puts it, you know, it's uh, 
change the, you know, it's like uh, when you go and you vote, uh, as opposed to seeing, you know, who's Republican and who's Democrat, it's just, it's people's names. That way you can't just go, oh, he's the Republican candidate, vote for him. You know, it's, you know, so you actually have to know about the candidates and, and know, you know, know who they are and what party they belong to to, you know, actually vote. I like this, you know, I, I like the idea. Uh, jokingly, he's put this out, but I'm, I, I kind of want to see this happen. Uh, he makes the joke that he wants to see um, the candidates, you know, like when they're debating, wear those kind of like NASCAR, like, like the fireproof, you know, like the jumpsuits, um, and have, you know, like everybody who's, you know, kind of uh, agreeing, everybody who's contributing to their campaign, you know, so all the big lobbyists and the big... Pretty much, you know, all the big businesses and whatnot that are funding these multi-million dollar political campaigns uh, to basically be advertised on the suit. I mean, you know, I mean, he says this as a joke, uh, but, you know, I'm sitting here going, oh, yeah, actually, I'd, I'd, I'd love that. That would be absolutely, I, you know, I mean, yes, it would be absolutely hilarious, but at the same time, I think it would open some eyes to going, this is really kind of fucked up, the fact that, like, like, like that this stuff is, like, actually happening. Uh, in our country, um, but you know, it's, you know, he, he makes that point. You know, it's I think he equates it to a you know, it's like you see the NASCAR driver Jimmy Johnson. You know, uh, across his chest says Lowe's. Like you know, he you know his biggest sponsor is Lowe's. You know, I I, I love this idea. I you know, I mean, again, it's it's radical and it's weird, but I'm like, but it's all you know, and yeah, it, it's a joke, and I get it, but I mean. It, it's one of those jokes that it's, I'm like, but I think it comes from a, like an actual good idea. Um, but you know, it, it, and again, I just hearing him talk, I really do think if he were allowed to camp, uh, to uh, debate uh, with the other candidates, I, I really do think he uh, would have a shot. Like when he ran for uh, governor of Minnesota, uh, apparently, you know, he was, I think, polling 8% uh, until debates, and then he one because of his just how he debated uh because again I, I think he's a real person he's not a political you know he's he's not a, a political party you know it's like with the republicans they're all kind of the same thing you know they're going to back the interests of their political party not the good of the people as you know they should because you know i mean Die. Um, I, I you know I know it's kind of uh, hard to talk. It, it, it's weird for me to kind of talk about this stuff because, uh, well, yes, you know I, I I I'm very passionate about it, but at the same time I'm I'm trying to play a video game and it has nothing to do with American politics. I'm sorry, you know, if this video runs a little long, it's just because I, I, I really want to get this uh, idea out there, you know, I'll probably talk about it in um, a couple of the other videos, like, for the other games that I'm doing um, today. Uh, but, you know, I mean, like, I, I, I kind of want to, like, put this uh, this guy's name out there, you know, kind of, like, look into him, because uh, I, I, I would love it if he ran. I mean, I, I would, like I said, uh, me, who, I, who does not vote... I would vote for him because I mean honestly, because I because I think he's a person. He has his own individual idea. Uh, you know, I, I and I guess and, and how to put this? I, I think if a and no offense to when when I say foreigner, I, I I mean no offense when I say this, but you know anybody who's not American, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it, with this idea that. Um, <laughs> he, I'm trying to think like the best way to phrase it, you know, as, as he's equated it, you know, it's like America, we're, we're broke. You know, I mean, America, you know, it's hemorrhaging money right now. We have debt, I think, pushing trillions of dollars. And yet at the same time, we spend so much in foreign aid. It, 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 it's astounding. And, you know, he's basically saying, you know, it's, you know, it's like you're destitute. Your house is being repossessed. You're behind on bills and all this. Then, you know, your uncle from two towns over calls you up and says, Hey, 
can I borrow $500? Do you give him the $500, or do you keep the $500 to help get you out of your own fucking problem? I, you know, I... Again, you know, you could say... You know, I mean, yeah, you can make a case that, yes, because uh, technically America is still a superpower, and, you know, we should, you know, uh, help other nations and whatnot. Uh, first of all, I think we do that to nations that don't want our help. You know, kind of, first off. Um, a key point, some of what's going on in the Middle East. Um, I, I, and again, I mean, honestly, kind of the short version, I agree, and again, I, I agree with Ventura. You know, I, I think we used 9-11 as an excuse to go into Iraq to protect oil rights of our... Um, higher ups in government who had stakes in the oil <laughs> George Bush um, again I but again like I, I'm speaking opinion I, I I'm not going to say any of this is fact uh, to any uh, government person out there with the um, any government person out there don't send the black helicopters after me I'm I'm, I'm speculating and whatnot that's a, that's a bad joke I'm sorry um but you know, it, it, but you know, like without getting into, cause, I mean, that's a totally different discussion. Uh, you know, talking about the war in Iraq and all that. You know, that's a totally different uh, discussion for another day. If you ever want to have that uh, with me, you know, I'll, 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 I'd be happy to have that discussion. You know, I think that's a very interesting topic. Um, you know, like I said, uh, you can tweet at me, uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, or my you know, Facebook, Twitter, or my website, all down in the description below, or just go in the comments of this video, and you know, uh, tell me your opinion. You know, I'll, 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 I'll conversate with you through the. Uh, through the through the comments, because you know, like I, I, I like talking this stuff, even though I don't like politics itself. I kind of like discussing this stuff, getting you know. Uh, I'm sorry again. I I, I keep tangenting, um, but you know, it, it, we spend so much in foreign aid to either countries that don't either a don't want our help, frankly, or you know, it, it, who either don't want our help or we we're just spending this money and it makes no sense why we're spending this money um you know in the next thing that he brings up you know he's gonna wants to cut um am i supposed to go keep going this way uh he wants to you know cut um defense spending which makes perfect sense because frankly uh in america we uh, um with as much as we spend in defense because i because america leads you know, leads the world in what we spend in defense. People who actually, you know, I believe, uh, as he puts it, believe in angels. Uh, you know, I believe that's, you know, the idea of uh, Christianity. Um, and uh, the number of incarcerated people. Um, you know, I mean, you listen to him, you know, as he puts it, you know, he thinks that, you know, like, drug addicts and all this, you know, you're being arrested on possession. Well, really, drug addiction is a medical problem, not a criminal problem. Problem. You know, I, really, he's a very fascinating guy. Go, uh, go listen to him. I, I'm serious. I could talk for about another uh, 30 minutes, um, just on Jesse Ventura uh, and some of his interesting, you know, uh, points and ideas. Um, but you know, for just sheer amount of, because you know, I'm running up on about 40 minutes now. I don't know exactly how long this video is going to run, but it might run a little long. And I'm sorry, you know, I know that's kind of annoying. Um, but you know, it, you know, it, but frankly, you know, America spends pretty much what America spends in defense. We, we spend more than the next 26 countries combined on the list of, you know, the highest, uh, nations that, you know, that spend on defense. Yeah. Uh, and you know, if that, that's bad. Uh, this is where it gets worse, because yes, while we do spend, you know, more, you know, more than those, um, you know, and I did not stealth this one. Oh, God, I can't hit because I'm crouched. Um, you know, yes, while we spend more than those, uh, next 25 nations, the really sad part about that isn't that we're spending that much money on, uh, uh, on defense, the sad part about it is that uh, apparently uh, of those uh, 26 nations that we are spending so much with, uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think what the exact number is. Uh, I think it's... Uh, 25 of those countries are, uh, are America's allies. And, you know, in that... <laughs> you know what, I, I'm just like, 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 that, like, that just... That astounds me. That, you know, it, I don't know. Like I said, like, I, I agree with Ventura. I think he makes uh, a few great points, and I think that's one of them. I think it is crap that we spend that much on defense when we're protecting ourselves from our own allies, you know. You listen to some of his conspiracy theories, he's a little... Uh, he's kind of out there. But at the same time, uh, yeah, I think he makes good points. You know, he questions, uh, you know, questions Kennedy and qu you know, uh, questions the Ken you know, the uh, the Warren Commission, you know, the Kennedy assassination, uh, nine, you know, the nine eleven, you know, like the, like so a lot of the big conspiracies. Um, but you know, I mean, that that's not surprising. A lot of people do. You know, that's not a a new thing. Um, necessarily um and frankly i think when he talks about them it makes uh, very good points <laughs> um what, what the hell was i talking about <laughs> i'm sorry uh but yeah i mean i, I just uh again i, I for, it, he's one of those kind of people that you really you have to listen to him talk to i think fully understand him Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, absolutely, absolutely fascinating, man. Um, I mean, like I'm saying, you know, he hates what we're, you know, he hates what we spend on defense, and he hates what we, you know, spend in foreign aid, when frankly, we don't need to spend that much on foreign aid, because it, you know, because, you know, the big question is, why? Um... But, you know, uh, just a uh, really interesting person. I, I'd suggest you go you go check him out. Check out some of his books. Um, once more, his name, uh, Jesse Ventura. J-E-S-S-E. -S -E. Ventura spelled like it sounds. Um, I might just burn and shit. <sighs> that was a fun talk, guys. I don't know. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, you uh, or you know anything about uh, Ventura, you when you want to talk about it, you want to say something, you want to tell me that he's a crackpot, batshit crazy. Uh, feel free. You know, what I mean, it's your opinion. You know, you're you're allowed to have those. So uh, feel free, go ahead, uh, tell me down in those comments if you want to talk about it. Um, or just uh, politics in general. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to talk about my thoughts and all that of the current political system. Uh, America, all that. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> little uh, Team America for you. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if, uh, to any of you, cause I, I know I have a couple people from, uh, outside of the country, um, I don't want to say watch, who watch regularly, but I know I do have some, uh, some people who watch, uh, you know, watch, watch my channel, uh, who aren't American. Um, so, you know, I mean, if this was extremely boring to you, I'm sorry, it's just, you know, it, it's, well, yes, I, I'm not one of those, you know, America's the greatest country on earth kind of people, I, I do have pride in being an American, and, you know, I, and I do believe, you know, this is the, uh, land of the free, home of the, you know, land of the free, you know, it's, uh, I, I, I do, uh, hope America someday would, will become completely tolerant of everyone, be whatever creed, gender, race, religion I don't you know but you know I, I have I have high hopes for the future of this country 
like I said, great country. Uh, I, I truly believe America is great. Um, again, I, 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 I don't know how I sound to people who... I, I don't even know how I'm sounding to Americans. Because, again, I, I sound like I'm being, like, super... You know what I mean? Like, like I, like I always feel like I'm sounding like super, um, I don't want to say anti-government because I don't think I'm being anti-government. I'm just, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think we have the, the ability to, you know, think freely and, you know, whatnot. So, you know, like, I think we should question what's going on, you know, uh, Again, it's, you know, Ventura, you know, again, like, like you know, I'm a big fan of his, uh, you know, of his opinions and whatnot, you know, as he puts it, you know, I, while, yes, I do agree with, um, some, some of the, some of the stuff we're proposing in, with gun control, at, at the same time, I do, I, I, I see Ventura's point, um, Good with doing me. When, Wincha, good to hesti. Cha, moro. Tua lachenti. I know it's a Mus hesti. Bakute. Imo. Hey, guar, fucking hest. Ube me. He see lach way for he hilst. Dog, we we hesti sub nieti. Ah, no he. Ah, monte boy. He loves his wenja. Orosom hrekti wersi. See lach. Moheyochte! Oi, oi, ne iberesi. Oi, oi. Batare. Akwai bida. Kisilachwe! Kyoksi wersi! Tod! Wenja we! Achtor! Yeah! All right, this is good. Um, but you know, I, I'm sorry. I'll I'll finish this up real quick, uh, just so I can end the video when I should end the video. Um, but you know, Ventura brings up you know the fact that you know. Uh, you know, Americans love to defend their Second Amendment rights. You know, I mean, which, granted, they 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 they're allowed to defend their Second Amendment rights. I mean, you know, it's it's in the Constitution. Uh, you know, if anybody who doesn't know the Constitution, uh, sec the Second Amendment grants America uh, Americans the right to um, own and bear arms uh, freely. It's a bunch of stuff basically saying you can own guns uh, and have it be part of a well-regulated militia. Um, which, you know, a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, you know, it's hunting, and it's this and that. Well, really, the, uh, amendment wasn't made for hunting. Uh, Ventura brings up a great point, the fact that that amendment was made, uh, because, I, I mean, at that point in time, if you, you, you know, you didn't hunt, you know, or, uh, you know, you didn't hunt or fish, you, you know, didn't eat. You know, you, <laughs> you died. Um... It, 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 what they mean by basically it's you're allowed to own guns because frankly it, it's kind of our duty as citizens that if the government basically becomes what they they're not supposed to be you know if they become oppressive they become uh whatever americans uh basically we're, we're supposed to you know kind of resist and fight back against the tyrannical government i mean again but at the same time i do think that saying 
uh, fight back against the tyrannical government, a lot of people would say the government we have now is tyrannical. I wouldn't say it's tyrannical, although I do think it's annoying. <laughs> Machi battery, madita. All right, guys. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, all right, then. <laughs> um, you know, like I was saying, it, really though, uh, like I said, go. Uh, if you're interested in, in uh, that stuff that I was talking about, uh, you know, drop me a comment. Uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, or my website down in the description below. Um, you know, uh, like I said, leave me a comment if you want to talk about any of that stuff with me. You know, I'm happy to. I'm happy to do all that stuff. You know, I, I like I love talking to you guys. Um, again, try and keep things civil. You know, like I like I like I like debating, and you know, I I, I don't care if you have a different opinion. But, you know, I, I don't like attacking people for having a different opinion. You know, I, I, I'm fine with discussing and say, hey, look, we, but, you know, we're allowed to have opinions. You, ours are different. Let's talk about it, not let's just scream at each other for two hours. Because then, it, I don't know. I mean, even if nobody moves, if we just discuss it, if we're just screaming at each other, then it's just not even fun or even an exchange of ideas. It's just, I don't know. It's it, it's basically the same as we're just running around shooting each other. It's you know, it, it, it's it's another form of violence that we just don't need. Um, I'm sorry again. I'm I'm tangenting as I'm trying to end this fucking video. It, I've been recording for 53 minutes. And I'm really I'm not taking a lot out of this video. So this this one's uh, pretty hefty. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but you know this is just something I that you know it's just been on my mind. I'm very I'm I'm kind of passionate about. You know I want to talk about. Um, so really, guys, like I said, uh, go check him out uh, on YouTube. Uh, check out some of his books. Just a bunch of other stuff. Uh, that's Jesse Ventura, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, Ventura, V-E-N-T-U-R-A. Go go check him out. Very interesting man. Um, guys, thanks for listening uh, and putting up with my weird talking about American politics for about an hour. Um, you know, like I said, uh, you know, all that stuff down uh, description comments uh with that kid's just like hiding in that fucking bush and it was like really creepy because like i turned and saw his face it's like what the fuck um but seriously guys thanks for watching i'm aj gels this is the 11th hour gaming channel i'm out